Let's look at word problems that involve area and perimeter. For example, the length of a rectangle is 5 times its width. If the area of the rectangle is 405 square feet, find its perimeter. OK, so let's let L equal the length of the rectangle. and w be equal to the width. That is, this is L and this is W. Now we're told that the length is five times its width, which means then that L, the length, is equal to five times the width, or 5w. But we're also told that the area of the rectangle is 405 square feet. And remember that the area of a rectangle is the length times the width, which means that the length times the width is equal to this 405 square feet. Now we know that L is equal to 5W, so let's replace L here with 5 times W, which gives us 5 times W times W is equal to 405, or 5W squared is equal to 405, and then dividing both sides by 5, gives us that w squared is equal to 81, which means w is equal to plus or minus the square root of 81. But since w is the width of this rectangle here, we're going to choose the positive. So w is positive square root 81 or positive 9. And then we can plug this back in here to give us what L is equal to. That is, L is equal to 5 times 9, or 45. So let's write that up here. L, the length of the rectangle, is 45 feet. And W, the width, is 9 feet. However, this isn't what we're asked to find, is it? We're asked to find its perimeter. Remember, the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So plugging in the values we just found for L and W, we'll be able to find this perimeter. Namely, P is equal to 2 times 45 plus 2 times 9. Or P is equal to 90 plus 18, which is equal to 108. So therefore, our answer is 108 feet. All right, let's look at one more. The length of a rectangle is 4 centimeters longer than its width. If the perimeter of the rectangle is 48 centimeters, find its area. Again, let's let L equal the length of the rectangle. And W be equal to its width. Now we're told that the length is 4 centimeters longer than its width. Therefore, L is equal to W plus 4. But now in this example, we're given what the perimeter is equal to. It's 48 centimeters, and we want to find the area. 
Again, we're going to use the formula that the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 times its length plus 2 times its width, which we are given is equal to 48, which means 2 times L plus 2 times W has to be equal to 48. And now we can replace L here with W plus 4 which gives us 2 times, be careful, it's the whole quantity, w plus 4. And then plus 2w is equal to 48. Or 2w plus 8 plus 2w is equal to 48. Or 4w plus 8 is equal to 48. And then subtracting 8 from both sides gives us 4w is equal to 48 minus 8, or 4w is equal to 40. And then dividing both sides by 4 gives us that w is equal to 10. And then we can plug this value back into this equation to find L. Namely, L is equal to 10 plus 4, or 14. So let's write that up here. L is equal to 14 centimeters, and W is equal to 10 centimeters. Remember, we're looking for the area of the rectangle. Again, we'll use the formula that area is equal to length times width where area is equal to 14 times 10, or area is equal to 140 square centimeters. All right, and this is how we work with area and perimeter word problems. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.